Hi, this is Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, I wanted to talk about the difference between posers and leaders. Right now, what we have are a lot of posers who want to be thought of as leaders. For example, Beto O'Rourke recently led a four-day march from Georgetown to Austin in protest of the uh, pending election integrity bill before the legislature. He was clearly invoking the imagery of the march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in 1965, a march in which the people taking part faced actual state-sponsored violence. It's 2021. Every legal resident of Texas over the age of 21 is eligible to and able to vote. It is not 1965. And marching from Georgetown to Austin with Yeti coolers and Starbucks frappuccinos is not like 1965 in the Edmund Pettus Bridge. So if you want to read about it or watch movies about it, if you want to live in the past, that's fine. But you can't reenact what other people, greater people, have already done. And then you have Cori Bush, the congresswoman who spent the night on the steps of the Capitol. She said, I'm going to live like a homeless person. And her idea of living like a homeless person to protest the eviction moratorium was uh, to buy a new comforter and pillow and a 20-pack of Oreo Thins and Wheat Thins. Look, I don't know any homeless people that uh, supply themselves from Costco. So here's the thing. If you are a leader, you are leading in the present toward the future. If you're a poser, you're taking past battles, you're standing on the glory of past leaders and pretending to or trying to don it and, and dress up in it for your own self-aggrandizement. This isn't about other people. This is just about Beto O'Rourke and Cori Bush and other would-be leaders who are really posers. We're going to talk about it this afternoon between 4 and 7 on 550 and 107.1 KTSA. And you can always find our show on demand on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.